Hello folks, my name is Jiří Svoboda and welcome to what's new in Helenos 0.11.2. So uh, the last time I did a what's new video was for Helenos 0.7.2 and that was about three years ago. A lot of things has happened since then. We have a completely new graphical user interface and window system, but I'd really like to s focus only on the latest release. So if you go to our Helenos website, www.helenos.org, and open the wiki section, then uh, you can open the release notes link, and you will see a list of releases, and you can pick your release and see your release notes. So the latest release is 0.11.2. So it's a second release this year, actually, so we had already one release in March and still we have new stuff so that's great so let's open it up now so what's new there is uh, there is support to new architecture or uh, actually new machine so it's a single board computer called Heike uh, 960 from 96boards.org so this is your fairly typical single board computer except that it has a 64-bit ARM CPU and well, this is the first real 64-bit ARM board that we support so we already support um, a virtual platform in QEMU but this is the first real board so that's a new thing and then uh, we have uh, an improvement in uh, the Raspberry Pi port so we now enable the iCache and branch predictor and that makes it makes it run faster all right. Uh, the other th stuff that's new, it's mostly in the user interface area. Now let's open up Helenos in QEMU here, running in uh, the graphical user interface mode. So you will, you might notice that there are some new entries in the launcher here, and I will talk about that later. Uh, let's open a user interface demo for starters. This is a simple application that demonstrates all the basic features of the user interface library and uh, there are some new things here we can see uh, there is a menu now so we, you have your pull down menu and we can open some dialog boxes and we didn't have this previously and also uh, the text entry which was already here before but you couldn't actually enter text so now you can you know enter enter text with your keyboard you can select text delete it copy it to clipboard paste it and so on we can also change alignment of the text field so we can select left center or right we can make the text field read only now you can't click you can't modify the contents so this is some uh, these are some improvements in the graphical mode but uh, you may or may not know that uh, helenos not only supports graphical mode but it can also run in text mode so uh, here i can uh, switch to another emulator window so here we have uh, Helenos running in EGA text mode so uh, you don't have a desktop you have only your command line and also uh, we can uh, run Helenos on a serial t serial console so here it's running on the Spark Ultra workstation and it's communicating via serial console and the console is connected to my terminal terminal emulator here and because uh, we traditionally support all these platforms where you might not have the ability to connect a graphical output device but just a te text console so it's very important for us to have a uh, good user experience on these platforms However, when we started adding our graphical uh, user interface applications in the past, so they, this couldn't run in text mode. And so uh, there was kind of a gap between what you can do, depending on if you have uh, graphic, graphics mode available or not. 
And so uh, we thought what we could do about this and we, we decided that our user interface library should support text mode as well. So now what I can do is I can start the user interface demo on uh, this machine which doesn't have a graphical output device and it will run in text mode. In the, the previous version we had a very basic support for this but now it's much more advanced. So thanks to this it's pretty easy to uh, make an application which previously only worked in graphics mode to make it work, work in text mode as well. Uh, so uh, for example uh, previously we had um, our text editor which always worked in text mode but it didn't have any proper user interface so it didn't have menus, it didn't have dialogues so we, we, uh, we now ported that to the user interface library so it can have uh, menus, it can have a dialog box and so on now we have a completely new application which is called Navigator and Navigator is supposed to be a panel based file manager uh, currently it, it, you can use it to to browse directories and start applications for example I can I can start Tetris here but at this point it cannot be used to uh, delete, copy or rename files Okay. So if I go back to my uh, graphical user interface, so you can see that uh, the new entries in Launcher are for starting the text editor. So now you can start it straight from, from a Launcher and it will open up a new uh, text-based window. And we can also start Navigator. And we can use the Navigator to, for example, to find an application and start it like calculator. If you uh, want to uh, see uh, more details about what's new in this release, you can uh, read through the release notes. Uh, as you can see, we are adding some interesting new stuff. And if you would like to try out this release, then you can go to the download section and uh, download uh, an ISO image or other image for uh, depending on uh, on your platform so uh, you can use this iso image in uh, uh, in qm for example or uh, burn it to a cd if you want to and uh, if you find hanos interesting i recommend that you keep following us because we have more great stuff coming up in the future you can follow us on our mailing list you can follow my blog which is uh, on the site easy-svoboda.blogspot.com or you can follow my YouTube channel. Anyway, if you've watched this far then thank you and see you in the next What's New video which will hopefully be as exciting as this one. Thank you and bye.